Hello everybody, welcome back to Waves of the Atlantide, a game which um, combines the Battle Royale um, genre with strategy, something which if you didn't know you already wanted, you probably do because it's quite interesting and it'll be very interesting to see how this game develops. So a couple of days ago or yesterday I uploaded a video where we looked at um, the tutorial and we looked at the basics and in this video, how did I forget that? In this video we're going to put that into practice and we're going to have a quick look at the single player. Very briefly, the multiplayer is currently very dead, but I'm sure as more people buy the game and get interested in the game, hopefully um, that will um, that will improve. The game's also available pretty cheap. I think it's about £3 something. I was fortunate enough to get sent a Steam key to play this game, so I'm very grateful for that. Hopefully you'll go and check it out for yourselves as well. So um, we're going to go on single player. And obviously we're going to go on a new game because there is no other options for us. Um, and what I am going to do here, and as you can see, you've got a few options um, with the start options. Um, I'm not, you can change them. Ooh. I've not messed about with them really, so I've not changed them. Um, but I'm going to change the medium AI. AI. I'm going to take them off because although I have played quite, I've played about four or five games of this, even the easy AI is challenging to beat. Uh, I'm not playing the baby AI. I'm, I'm better than that. I can do this. Um, so we're going to have three of them. But I did win one game against the easy AI, so hopefully we'll be able to show that off today. Um, I'll try and talk you through my strategy as we go through it as well. I've also turned the volume up for this video a bit more than I did the last one. Anyway, let's get into it. It's real-time strategy. We've got no time to waste. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to our warrior, and I'm going to get him to go and colonize some land. It's very important to expand very quickly. And then I'm going to sort of... Food and production, very key. Very, very key. And then as soon as we've done that, we're going to carry on building troops to go and expand as quickly as possible. I'm going to get a few troops going to the south. This one's going to carry on going up there. And we're going to just try and expand because we don't know where we are in the map. We need to keep expanding. Um, okay, we have another troop ready. Um, quick, Keep working on food. Keep working on food. Right, so you can go down here. Oh, no, colonize, colonize, colonize. Please colonize. Damn, okay, so we can find another city here. Before we do that, we're going to get you just carrying on pushing. We need to find where the sea is so we can sort of run away from it. The maps aren't massive, so it will come at you from a number of directions, as will the other... Um, are you colonizing? As will the other sieves. Right, um, can we get another tech as well and another unit after that? And then some more food. Oh, no. Are we in the food? Yeah, okay. Build the unit after that. So I want the tech to start unlocking things on the tech tree. Um, can we... Yeah. Create another city, another city, another city. And then you can colonize up here. Also with this city, let's get that doing something. So again, food, production, food, production. Get them built up straight away. And then we can really get our food and production sorted. Which is going to allow us to expand quicker. We have a tech point. So we're going to go very quickly. There's a few I like. I like the exploration one. So... Faster colonization is good. It allows you to expand quicker, so we're going to go with that one. Um, and we'll have a look at some of the others. So we get some more, right? Um, can we find more cities yet? No, not yet, not yet. We're still colonizing up there, but we have now finished there, right? Yes, come on. Okay, we found a city there. And I'm sure there are better ways to play this, but it does suggest um, expanding quickly, and I found that very useful. So we'll put a city there. Can we get one? No, no, quick. Come down here, colonize. Where is the sea? So you're just that. And with their other cities, we need to just, you know, a bit of food. A bit of food, a bit of production. Um, and then we're probably going to have a quick push on science. Um, 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 right, so we are colonizing. We should be colonizing quicker after we got that other sort of thing as well. I want to colonize in a bit of a block. Oh, the sea's there, run away. The sea's there. We will start founding cities here just for sort of science points and stuff. Right, go up here. Go colonize. Quick, quick, click, quick, click, quick, click. You're doing that, you're doing that. Ooh, you, you've... It's very fast paced, I'll tell you this. It is so fast paced. So we probably want to be going this way. Quick, explore. As soon as you bump into other people, that's when I really start building my armies up. But just for the time being, I probably won't. Uh, right, I'm going to start using this hub menu as we discovered. So as you can see, I've already smashed out a load of cities. Um, so we've got all our production here. I want a bit of science, want a bit of science, want a bit of science. Bit of more food here. Let's get some food levels up. Really want to keep on top of food because then when we need to start smashing out an army, we can. 
I'm not looking at the rankings because I simply do not have time for that. I'm trying to build our infrastructure up to build up an army pretty quick. Quick, 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 quick. As you can see, there is a, it is very fast paced. I, I can't decide if I think it's too fast paced at this stage or not. I'm obviously not playing the game as much as I'd like, but um, obviously you can judge that for yourself as well. We don't, we don't need that. We don't need that yet. What are you doing? Okay. Um, you're working on production. Fine. Remember everything building something? You're not building anything. We have plenty of science points. So we need to look at that. Okay. I might start um, getting a few more units here. So you're fine. Cue that. Cue that. Um, food's always good. Food is where I usually come unstuck, so... Right, okay, so let's have a look quickly at founding some more cities. Get them doing something. Colonize, colonize, colonize. You come down here and colonize. You colonize here. Oh god, this, the horn sounded. The horn has sounded. I didn't realize, but the horn has sounded. Get going this way. Start running. Start running. You can just work on that. I kind of think we're going to have to start with some of these. Right, so tech-wise, uh, faster stationing. Uh, what's this? Oh, God, oh, God. It's all collapsing. It's all collapsing very quickly. Can we go for food here? Yeah, okay. So we want fast production. We've used all them points. Quick, quick, quick. Right, what I want to do is spam some units out here. That's pointless. Everything. Oh, another, another, another um, faction. I don't like being on the edge. I don't like being on the edge. I don't like being on the edge. Right. Colonize. We need to start founding cities and moving this way. Otherwise, we're going to find ourselves in trouble. Oh God, we're fighting. By the way, you're at war with every. Oh dear. Right. Time to start spamming out units. Okay. So now we've done all that production work. You know, setting ourselves up. This should be quite easy. Just to spam out a massive amount of troops. Right, go get involved. Go get stuck in, boys. Come on. Right, we're going to push them the hell out of here. Right, you carry on colonizing this way, please. Come on. So we've got to keep moving. You cannot stand still and just build an empire. You've got to keep moving. Right, let's get some food on just so we can support new troops and things. Oh, dear. Oh, God. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Do not want to lose you. Do not want to lose you. If the, tr if the area collapsed with your troops in it, you will lose them. Damn. I have one on this difficulty, so it is doable. Uh, but I am aware it's very, very difficult. See, things happen so fast. You've just got to keep trying to do your best. Um, can you go and colonize down here, please? Just so we've got some cities to fall back on. Come on, come on, come on. Where can we call? Oh, no, no. More people, more people. Right, go up here. Okay, our troops are battling up there. Are we winning? Oh god, no. I'd suggest not. Right, let's smash some more. Oh, oh come on, boys. Come, ooh, ooh, run away from the death. Run away from the death. Come down here. Come down here. Come on. Come on. We've got to win this war against these people. Oh god, we're getting attacked on two sides now. Jesus Christ. Okay, so let's spam some more units out. These, you know, spamming units out is a very, very useful thing to do. It is often... When the few games I've played, it has often, you know, changed the tide of battle. What I absolutely... Jesus! What the hell? Where have they all come from? I don't know why my, you know, sort of... Hit puberty for a moment there. God, these, these are powerful, man. These are more powerful than I'm used to. Oh my god, we are getting absolutely bullied over here. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know, some games go better than, than others. Um, this is not going particularly well. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, come on. Colonize, colonize, colonize. Oh, great. Yeah, just what we need. Some more. Can't you go and fight each other? Leave us alone. We're getting absolutely... Our arse is handed to us here. They have two big armies, which um, is causing problems. Right, spam more troops out. That is my current plan. I've, just, I've lost any element of strategy I currently had has gone 
um, and we're now focusing on absolutely spamming troops out to push back this invasion. Please go and colonize. You can come colonize down here because we're going to have to keep moving. We've got to keep moving. Um, I mean, I'd suggest the war effort in the north is going badly. Um, but I could be mistaken. In fact, go get involved. Go get involved. Oh, no. No, they're dead. No, 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 I'm not going to get involved. It's suicide at this stage. Um, again, let's keep spamming units out. Everywhere, just build me some bloody units. The problem is, is we went sort of the wrong way initially, which has caused us many problems. Um, okay, everyone seems to be fighting each other, so what we need to do is... Well, this is how I won the last game, was literally just find a way to survive. Oh, come on, right. You know, go back towards the sea. It doesn't seem to be coming in here. Right, okay. Ooh, get away, get away, get away from the edge, get away from the edge. Right, come on, boys, let's get together. Come on. Oh, no, we're going to die. We're going to die. What I love about it is, you know, it's important not to take a game like this too seriously. It's important to, you know, just be, be pragmatic as possible um, and enjoy it. Because some games you're going to get your ass handed to you, like in this one. In other games, you're going to somehow win, um, like I did last time. I was very confused. Just find a blooming city. Right, go, go, colonize. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's troops coming. Right. Come on. Come on. Okay, let's go on this minute. Oh, no. They're, they're making inroads here. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to retreat. In fact, go fight them there, and then everything else. We'll have a big battle there, and we'll win, and it'll all be fine. Oh, we've got no food. Right, quick, quick, quick. Anyway, just make food. Please. We need food. Oh, God. I've, I've, I've put too many on there. Okay. Food. We're not producing any troops because we've been done by food. This is something I said in the tutorial not to do. Do not get overrun by food. Ah, okay. Okay, we are, see, our food's back up. Our troops have re-emerged. Quick, go there. Win a small victory. Let's have a small victory over there, please. Everybody else needs to come and get up. Oh, no. We're getting attacked from all kinds of sides here. Go get involved. Go get involved. We might as well... One last stand. <laughs> Five minutes into the game, last stand. What a disaster. Oh, go capture that city back for us. Oh my god. Even the, the, the guys in blue are coming as well. They have so much more strength than us. That army size is ridiculous. Just go, just go get involved, guys. I mean, we might as well. Quick, everyone build some more units. Build more units. Oh, God. It's because we've been attacked from... Well, to be fair, I wouldn't say blue causes that many problems. I'd say everything else causes a lot of problems. Just go pile in. We might as well. What's the worst that happens? Apart from the the, the, um, the ground falls away from beneath our feet, which um, is a negative. Oh, my God. Look, it's coming in from both sides now. We've no choice but to confront our enemies head on. Oh, my God. Well, if we just run away and let them fall into the sea, come on, let's let's get it, let's let's run away, let's strategically run away and just survive. We need to survive. Just run away, run away, run away. Come on, just run away, run away. Everybody, just build a load of troops and run away. This is possibly the greatest strategy I've ever come up with. Come on, we just need to survive. Let them fall into the abyss. Come on, we're going to food. Have we got enough food? Um, are we struggling to build troops because we don't have enough food? Mm, this is not going well. I've, I've, uh, the, these, yeah, they're dead. <laughs> oh, we've just spawned a lot of troops. And we're now going ultra defensive um, in this strategy. Get away from the edge, get away from the edge, get away from the edge. See, the plan is, is that we will survive um, because everybody else will fall into the sea. Now, if any, they're running away anyway, that's fine. If anyone thinks that's a bad strategy, um, you are mistaken. Because when they fall into the sea, that's bad. And Blue have a lot of troops as well, but we're, we're amassing a decent force down here. I thought I thought it was over two minutes. Ooh, get moving, get moving. I thought it was over two minutes ago, so the fact that we're sort of 
still alive is, I consider a victory. That, for me, is a center point. If we can capture that center point, we could survive. Everything else is falling apart, as you can see. Um, everybody's now running for their lives. Uh, I, don't, I don't know where we're centering on here. I'm going to just stay here. I really want to oh know. Where, where is the world collapsing from and to? Um, it, it's coming on, on us now. Can we get any more troops out there? Probably not. All right. Let's get some food and then we can probably get some troops. Possibly. Where's everybody gone? I think everyone's just ran away to die. <laughs> Uh, it's coming in on us. It's it's very hectic. I found the last game I won very strange at the end. Excuse me. I found it very strange at the end. Uh, because everyone just sort of went away and died. Uh-oh, they're back. They're marching away. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. No, march away. Run. Yeah, you attack that. That's absolutely pointless land. Nobody wants it anymore because the world's ending. We're just going to go and capture a nice city. Oh, no. We're going to have to go south, aren't we? The center point strategy may not be working. Um, the, the world is... Um, is I'm hoping it swallows them up before us, essentially. We're going to have to start just trying to march as best we can away. Can we just get some food? Have we got any cities left? Oh, God. We need to capture that quick. We're going to have an army left, but I've, I've, I'm a bit scared we're going to have no cities left because it's sort of eroding quickly into our territory here. Like, very quickly. This is We're in the mountains, though, so I thought the mountains lasted pretty much longer than anywhere else, according to the tutorial. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That's going... This is it now. We waited out. Oh my god. I think I think mistakes have been made. I think we're going down here. Now what I will say about this game is I love the principle of it. I think there's a lot to be said for the quality of it as well. Um, but this, I'm, they're definitely looking at ways to improve. So make sure you do leave your suggestions on where you think it can be improved. I think this end game lull may be one which can sort of hopefully be addressed because obviously i'm just now not fighting anyone um i'm just hiding in the mountains with my armies um but as you can see the action is very interesting oh god i think this could be ending the world the world is falling apart now um and it is now on our island i'm hoping this is kind of where it all ends for everybody else. We, we cannot get off our island now. There's mountains there, mountains there, and we are stuck. Oh my god. Our lands, our lands. Oh my god, this is scary. Oh no. Oh, we're dead. No, we're gone. Uh, we've just lost everything. We've just lost everything. We've got 60 food, though, which is a, a success. Uh oh, it's shaking. It's shaking. Oh no. And... <laughs> I'm just waiting it out, out here. I cannot believe our arm. We just lost two armies at once. We have one city left. And it, it can't even produce that because it's not... Right, come on. Yes, we're back. We are back in business. I've not really played about with the stationery a bit too much. But, um... Yeah, let's get an army up here. Oh, it's over. Okay. So, th that is, um... Waves of Atlantide, I think it's called. Oh, I can't believe we lost. What I will say, though, is you can see that there is a lot of potential here um, for a game. I still think there's work to be done, and I'll be sure to come up with some suggestions and send that off in an email to them. But I absolutely love the principle of it. I think it's a game that will hopefully grow, and as more people get involved, it's going to only help improve the quality of the game. Um, but if you are interested, I'll leave a link down in the description to Steam. Um, I have a lot of fun, really. That's... Sometimes you've got to just judge a game by how much fun you have with it. And considering it's it's still a little bit buggy at times. Um, and there's definitely ways to improve, I think. Um, but considering all that, 
when it boils down to it, this is a lot of fun and it's a very fun concept. So I'm hoping they, they take it further. I'm hoping the game goes a lot further. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching today. Please do remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more of this game and more games like it. We do a lot of strategy on here and I will see you in another video soon.